In this video, we are going to expose, yes, expose, <laughs> expose my damn YouTube analytics um, to see where we're at in this current cycle in terms of just general interest, as it has been a pretty damn good um, gauge of such in the past. And we have uh, been following up on this basically since the start of the new year of 2024. So I want to do my monthly check-in and see where things are currently at. And without further ado, we just jump into it right in over here with the topic of the day, which is the YouTube channel analytics, which holy fucking moly, estimated revenue, almost 400,000, I'm rich! Until you realize, <laughs> That's over the full history of this channel. <laughs> not terrible, but uh, but maybe not as uh, as glorious as it might seem. Um, but uh, but yeah. Anyways, what I want to um, acknowledge here is that essentially since September of 2023, we have actually been starting to see a long term general uptrend on my YouTube um, views, which in the past has correlated incredibly well with market tops when we have seen essentially highs on this channel. So uh, for example, when we do see December of 2021, what was that? That was Bitcoin's prior all-time high at about 69,000 bucks. And of course, the time before that where we saw a top on the views was back on over here, which was the summer of 2019, which is where Bitcoin did put in its major rally from 4,000 to 14,000 um, before toppling on over into the Rona dump um, and then finding the lows over the next uh, couple of years before moving up into that next peak. So it does seem to be that one, we've seen the lows, and two, we are now seeing an uptrend, which does tell me that, that we are very likely more than halfway through this current cycle. But just like prior times in this channel, I would expect at least around the prior all-time high in terms of views before I say that this, um, that this mark cycle is likely done. So Let's put things in perspective for a second here. The all-time views high on this channel, uh, again, in end of 2021, was about 90,000. For reference, my channel had around 100,000 subscribers at that time. As of the recording of this video right now, it is at 191 and, uh, and 100, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Massive thank you for that, for everyone joining in. By the way, if you also uh, find this content valuable, I don't know, maybe consider like subscribing. It's all good. Uh, you can also unsubscribe later, and it's literally fucking free. It's crazy. It's a crazy deal. Um, but yes, yeah, so the channel has nearly two times the amount of subscribers. And at this point, you know, about a third of those views. So theoretically, we would expect higher views compared to what we did see in 2021, or at least that's, that's what I'd like to see um, before this market cycle does end. But perhaps a good barometer is when, Bit or when Bitcoin, when my views start to reach back around that, uh, that number. So I'll be updating this every few weeks or every month or whenever it's really relevant um, or whenever I run out of other ideas for other content because Bitcoin's fucking boring right now, as you would expect. So, <laughs> so we'll see. Um, but it does seem that, yes, we have indeed seen the turnaround this, and we have seen now a series of higher lows and higher highs since September of 2023. So that is now consistent, and I would expect this to continue, hopefully. And uh, and also just one more point of um, of, uh, of reference here. The views that we're seeing on this channel as of exactly right now is very similar to what we did see in 2019 summer, again, on that high of 14,000 bucks before Bitcoin toppled on over. Keep in mind, during that time, my channel, I think, had maybe twenty to 30,000 subscribers. So it is almost 10x that number as of right now, yet experiencing the same amount of views per day. So I do still think that this cycle is mostly just prior people who were interested in cryptocurrencies or, 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 or Bitcoin. Um, and uh, we haven't really seen, you know, the exuberant, irrational, parabolic blow off top moves that you would expect. Um, not necessarily that have to happen, but we haven't really seen new people come into this market as far as, you know, the average person goes. We've seen obviously ETFs come in, yes, but it doesn't really seem to have brought in uh, a whole lot of interest, a whole lot of viewing interest. And when I ask my other YouTube friends about their views, at this point in the market cycle, they're experiencing relatively similar things as well. Um, so I just thought that that was rather interesting. And if we do go down here, by the way, into like the last uh, 90 days, we can see, or last 365 days, yeah, we can see a very clear, although minimal, uptrend um, uh, starting now. So this is really the first time we've seen this consistently, and I do believe that that does matter for the long term. So one, I would, you know, kind of deduce from from this data that 
Mark Stuck was probably not over. Two, it's probably more than halfway over. And um, and three, I probably wouldn't be willing to say that we've seen the highs just yet until we do see um, at least around what we saw in 2021. I, again, remember the subscriber base on this channel as, the, as of this moment is nearly 2x those numbers. So you know, theoretically, it should be easier to get those views. Anyways, moving on now, we should get into a follow up with the short term time frames from yesterday. Uh, we were looking for one, some short term continuation somewhere around, you know, 64 ish to maybe even 65. Um, and then two, likely a pullback after that region was hit. So it does look like we have um, a spike into that region. We do have a high yesterday of 64,553. And we are starting to see some hidden divergences form as we spoke about on yesterday's video was likely as uh, the four and six hour time frame RSI's are making significantly higher highs what we saw even on the highs um, in late April where Bitcoin was trading uh, actually not that much higher to be fair um, you know about 60 65,000 or close to 65,000 bucks so you know, is this a good place for a pullback? Probably yes. If we go over here and check out where we're at on the HPDR uh, bands, we can see that Bitcoin is, you know, steady right around the median as of right now. Personally speaking, I do think that this one is, um, you know, I, we, we've already hit the easy portion of this move on the volatility contraction. Um, but, you know, I, I don't really put too much weight on it closing above the median, especially on a weekend. Uh, for me, the big area to be aware of for Bitcoin is 65,000 bucks. As long as Bitcoin is closing dailies below their minimum, this is just kind of a bounce attempt and likely the next move is a retracement, um, especially if that hidden bearish divergence over here gets confirmed, which actually right now, wait, is it still there? Yes, it is still there. Um, which, uh, which would likely initiate targets somewhere down around the 38.2 or the 50% retracement right here, which actually correlate incredibly well with the, uh, with the Fibonacci's, um, which actually probably should, um, as these are Fibonacci numbers, but coming at it from a completely different calculation and angle. So somewhere in this pocket right here, which would be between, you know, mid 60,000 to 61,350 uh, Bitcoin popped back down around there. I'd really want to see that hold for the, uh, for the boo laws for the bulls sake. Uh, if Bitcoin is going to dig in, um, and actually turn around overall. So, you know, it does look maybe something like this where it comes on over early in the week, maybe, you know, does some, does some a little bit like that, perhaps yes. But again, the big number for me, 65,000 bucks uh, to the upside versus the downside about 60,000 below 60,000. I do think uh, you see a retesting somewhere around Bitcoin's current lows um, for this month at 57-ish, uh, 57,000 ish, that is. Um, until then, I still think th things continue to get boring here. Range is continue to tighten realistically not all that much has happened and what i've been doing in the background is working on new strategies um, i'm actually working on this one over here i'm gonna post this once i finish it in the um in the uh, crown quant automation group um but uh we have a new indicator now i should let you know it's the trend wave catalyst over here um, which you do get access to with the crown quant automation service which is a service that gives you access to this script the the skeleton key external which allows you to essentially construct and destruct <laughs> um, uh, strategies, you know, with any sort of tools that you have access to on TradingView. And then it gives you the statistics down here. And then yes, you can go ahead and, mon and uh, automate that as well. Um, in this case, I do like the overall trajectory of this curve, but I feel like I can smoothen things out a little bit if I, uh, if I have some more time with it. So I'm working on it still, but, uh, but yeah, that is that. Uh, again, if you don't have access to this indicator, but you do have the Crown Quant Automation Service, um, then you can just email email elsa.crowntrading at outlook.com. Um, let her know the deal. Let her know that you're in the Crown Quant Automation. Let her know your trading view username. And uh, I don't know, maybe include a screenshot of your teachable receipt as well, just so you know she can actually like confirm that you actually fucking got it. <laughs> it's been some, uh, some sly motherfuckers who tried that, but... Fair enough. Anyways, um, yeah, so you have access to that, and uh, and that's probably a good place for me to be leaving off. Um, I'm going to get back to working on this. I, I think I'm close. Like, I think I'm close. I've been spending so much fucking time just updating one little tick here, one little tick there. It takes, takes it's very tedious, honestly. It's very, very tedious work, but at the end of the day, it must be done, and uh, I think that's a good place for me to be ending on today's video. Again, big focus on the YouTube analytics over here for this particular um, last few months. We are starting to actually see an uptrend, and I would say that that 
probably means that wherever Bitcoin kind of lands on this current pullback is likely a buy still, or at least as far as I'm concerned, which you might not be concerned with that. You might be concerned with other things and fair enough with that too. So just kind of uh, perusing around here to see if there's anything else. Eh, nah. There would be an obvious thing that if the weekly closed back above 65,000 bucks, that would make me... Um, I mean, bullish isn't the right, but yeah, bullish would actually be a good word. I'd be looking for a retest back above 70,000 bucks that, if that were to happen. But uh, I think Bitcoin's more likely to, uh, to pull back into the, into the closure here. Anyways, as always, I'd like to wish you the best, best. Take care, much love, and see you hopefully Monday.